I belong to United Healthcare. It's so much better than it ever has been because of these products. Want something that works? Try this. It could change your life like it changed mine. So I might push against you, but I'm not trying to push you out of the chair or anything, okay? Just know. You shouldn't feel anything other than us touching you here. He's got this cyst. How long has it been growing there for you? I would say about two years, two and a half. And he doesn't like this stuff, but his wife knows about us because she does. She likes it. She doesn't just, she does watch it, right? Correct. She, okay. Like she watches a good amount or she just watches it for you or, you know, does she... She knew what this was. She kind of diagnosed you, probably. Um, she did. Yeah. She really did. You sound like you can't found a keeper. You see. I told him he should like get like some bubble gum or something today, like a gumball, and go home and say, "Look, this is what she pulled out of my head." I don't think he's gonna do it though, but I think it would be great for a papaholic. I think she would respect that. You okay? Yeah. Okay. I know you can hear things through your head. I'm sorry about that. That's why I try to jab her on about stupid things too. But he does say he wants to, he wants to see it. Should I squeeze or is it gonna get me? Better when it releases like that. Easy? Yep. Right. Well, it's the most stressful time is when I start squeezing it. Because I'm thinking, is it going to come out? Is it going to spray me? I've got to save all that all for him. Yeah, let me put this onto the gauze and then you can, okay, I'll take the gauze from you. Mm. Got stuck again. Thank you. What up, please? I love it when I get someone who has never watched the videos because I can use all these jokes on them and they're all new, right, girls? <laughs> <laughs> To them. I'm just yes, to them. <laughs> I just told him, I just asked him if he wanted us to put anything in here and he he said, ew. Gross. So you have two stitches here that See? will come out in 10 days. Okay. Um, and you know, obviously you can come back here to see us. You're not too far. Or if you have a doctor around you or, or a nurse or somebody that can take out stitches for you. You can do that too. They're kind of blue. Nobody wants to see me. Well, we can. It's all, we my, are happy to do it. My GP says it has to be you know, via the internet now. <laughs> what does he say? It has to be viewed on the internet? Oh, like a telemed appointment. Oh, yes. even that? Really? Yes. Oh, that's not so it's frustrating. Great. Do you want to see it? Oh, it's sure. all done. Sure. Take it to too. This is the stuff that's squeezed out because initially I squeezed it hard. Here mm -hmm. it is, here it is. So it's kind of deflated. Oh. See, it's like a little garbanzo bean. Right. And See, that was the part that opened up right here on top. And is, is that the, the sack? This is the, this is the, this is the sack. Okay. See, it's uh, it's just like a shriveled grape almost because I, I can't get the air back into it. It's in, it's in there. But uh, that stuff is came out came out of that just like skin okay. cells. All right. Right under there. And what's the likelihood that that would um, regenerate? Probably close to zero close because to zero. we got it all. But you okay. can get another pilar cyst. Sure. Some people do. But that's it. All right. Thank so you. there you go. Yes. I told him like we need to find somebody that is going to propose to their wife or something, and then they say like, oh look. This is what came out, and then they said, will you marry me? Oh, my God. Wouldn't that be cute for the show? We got to find somebody like that. <laughs>